Okay, I actually went out tonight. We went up the bike week up in Scottsdale, and I wanted to kind of show you guys how actually doing a cash ride on the hum app works because they could take lyft they could take uber or all we do is have them download the app to their phone we enter in their phone number and at that moment they're a cash ride with commercial insurance in our hum vehicle this is how it works doing a hum ride out of there which was perfect because anthony set it up for me because anthony and chris were up there letting everybody know that hum drivers were in the area and so we came over to the car and let me show you my earnings that was the ride I did right here, Wednesday 3 4, 3201. I actually got $35 because the guy gave me $30 on Cash App and then he gave me $5 cash on the way out. And then, not only top of that, he booked me already for tomorrow morning because Hum allows you to book somebody for tomorrow morning. Because what they do is he gave me his phone number right when we were at the spot, anyways, as, as Anthony was standing there. Anthony's from Hum. As Anthony was standing there, I got the guy's phone number. So he could text me back and forth and everything too. But it was a 21 mile trip and I got $35 total for it. Now, because like I said, I got the 30 cash, I mean 30 cash app, then I got the five that. But that was the trip there. Now, let me tell you how these trips, now it says cash collected 38.80. That right there is not what was collected. That's only because I did a manual ride. Now, this is how I did the manual ride. Anthony was standing there showing me how. He said, hey Jeff, I got this driver for you. We're gonna do a manual ride. Hit those three dots up in the corner. So I hit the three dots in the corner. He says, go to manual ride. I hit manual ride. Now, this is when I put Rob's phone number in. So I put his phone number in. Then I hit request ride because I'm entering his phone number in so he can request a ride. As soon as I hit request ride because he downloaded the app, it automatically links to his phone. So it shows him and it shows me and him at the same spot. At that point, you can say, let's say... um. You know, I need to actually do this ride because I want to actually do it to show you what the screens look like. Now, I'm not going to put his phone number in. I will put his phone number in. I'm not going to do that. But it'll go to another screen and it'll say something like, you know, begin ride or something weird. It says something weird on it. But that's how you start the ride. But in my navigation in my car, like you can on a manual ride, you can use any because it's a cash ride. Basically, you can use any navigation system you want. You could use Waze, Google. I just use the navigation in my car. So it was up on my screen. So he told me the address where he was going, put the address in, and then I hit start ride. Now, because I didn't put an address in the phone, instead I put it on the screen because this is a cash ride, a manual ride, it only calculates based on time. So it's running based on time the whole time, not really based on distance until I get to where I'm getting to because the app doesn't know. There's no address in the app. The address was on my car dashboard. So we're driving, 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 chatting, talking, having a good time and everything else like that. I'm going to go show you where the um the screenshot was. Hold up. Where's the screenshot? Screenshot. And so that's what the ride came out to at the end. It was 21 miles, uh, three minutes, just 30 minutes uh, of driving. But it was three minutes congested. And it said cash 38.80. That's what it'll say at the end of your cash ride, 38.80. But we already gave him a discount from the original price, which is why we made the price $30. We gave him a discount, put it as 30. Then he gave me a $5 tip on top of that. So I, that's how I got the $35. But at the end of a cash ride, a manual ride, once because you have no destination, you hit start. This is what it'll say at the end of your ride. So you can let the rider know, hey, if we would have really did this based on the app, you would have paid me $38.80 because I only asked you for like $30 and you gave me $35. Cool. So he basically saved $3.80 from what would have happened if the app would have charged him the whole time because it was a 21 mile ride, 30 minutes total. But I had to take a picture of that at the end. But that's basically how you do a manual ride. You just put the phone number in, hit request ride, then you can use the address you can either put the address in your ways or whatever, like, or I just put it on my dashboard and you hit start the ride. And that's when you get the cruise. And, and like I said, you can show the Uber app how much it'll pay. Like, let's say Uber was charging him. And on this ride, this is funny. Uber was actually charging him, I think something like $24, $25 for the ride. But the the uh, driver was too far away. He was ready to go now. That's what Anthony said. He's ready to go now. So he'd rather pay a little bit more because here we are right here on the spot. And the dude said, the only reason why I wanted to do it through you guys is because I know all the money's going to the driver. I don't mind paying more if I know all the money's coming to the driver. 
That's what you got to let these people know when they're taking a hum ride. What you pay comes to us. We pay hum to be on their platform and we get 100% of the money of what you see on that screen. This is not an Uber deal where they take the money away, steal our tips, take our fare down, don't give us surge. This is a totally different platform. This is an opportunity platform. It's not like an app that steals from you and takes from you and use you like a plantation slave. This is a true app that gives you an opportunity to make money. Whatever's on the screen goes in your pocket. It's nothing like Uber, nothing like Lyft. Honestly, it's that easy. I mean, once they download the app to their phone, the app has their phone number. You put their phone number in on your side, you can start a ride with them because it automatically links to them. And you can collect ahead of time or after. As we were driving, that's when he actually cash at me the money. But he could have did it right there on the spot. Now, I trusted him. I mean, the guy got in the car and Anthony had already secured everything. Everything was all fine. And that's the beginning of your manual ride. You can do it through Zelle, Cash App, Venmo, Straight Cash, whatever you want. Now, it logs in the phone because it has to log for the sake of the company providing you a commercial insurance. It has to log as a ride, even though there's no money transferring hands within the app. This is all done you and the, the rider. This is nothing done inside of the app. So that's how cash rides usually work. Now, when there's a, a ride, when somebody pings you and you pick them up, now that's all going through the app. That's how they actually pay through the app and everything. Or, and they can also tip you through cash and stuff like that. But with these cash rides, these manual rides, that's something that Uber and Lyft won't offer. You could just pull up to somebody right here on the curb, say, hey man, if you need to go two, three miles, I got you. You could take cash in your hand, like how we normally do, like y'all know me. I usually take a ride cash all the time, 20 bucks, I give them a ride down the street, 20 bucks, done deal. There's no insurance involved, no none of that, and everybody's like, oh my God, what if you get into a wreck, you're gonna, and that's usually, that's, usually, that's how it goes, that's how I do it. But with Hum, I can actually say, okay, I'll take it on the street for 20 bucks, but can you do me a favor? Because I wanna make sure that this ride is covered by commercial insurance in the event something happens. Download the app, I'll put your phone number in. It's a real quick process, like boom, 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 one, two, three. And so they, as they're downloading the app, I'm opening up my phone to the manual, say, hey, what's your phone number? Okay, so I put their phone number in my side. Once it's downloaded and it's on their phone, now I hurry up and hit, you know, uh, request ride, and it pops up on their phone. And now we can start the transaction. So, I mean, it's, it's real quick. People think it's going to take, oh, do they got to get approved as a rider? Do they got to get vetted as a rider? It's quick. It's, it, you vet them on the spot, pretty much. There is no, oh, you got to, like, get a background check in order to be a rider. No, no. if you trust a person, you had them on Uber anyways, or you had them on Lyft anyways, or you pull up and you want to do a cash ride anyways, at least you now have that digital connection now. And not only that, but like I said, Hum wants you to have their phone number. So now I have his phone number. And as we were riding, he was like, hey, man, tomorrow, can you pick me up tomorrow, too? Because I got to come back. He works the event. Can you come pick me up tomorrow? So if he if I take him tomorrow, most likely if I'm up tomorrow night, I'll bring him back. He could be my cash ride for the entire bike week beginning and the end because he start he goes when it starts. And when it's done, that's when he leaves. So that could be my beginning and ending cash ride all week. And I can run it all through home. I don't got to do it just like dry how we normally do it. It's like, yeah, man, just give me 30 bucks. And now we can do it all through the app. It's covered by commercial insurance and it's quick. He's already set up in the app. So all he has to do is say, bam, this is where we're going. And I know where he's going. So I don't even have to, you know, put his address in my digital, in my uh, dashboard anymore. I could just start driving. I know where he lives now. So this is going to be pretty interesting running home. Because like I said, home is more than just an app. It's actually an opportunity for you to build a business, your sales skills, negotiation skills, your networking skills. This is how you got to do it. And you got to be quick with it. Like I said, this channel is, a, is like accounting 404. This is not an accounting 101 channel. This is a very quick thinking, fast, at the pace of life type of channel. And I'm glad I can drop videos for you guys so you can look at it and see it and be like, I could do something like that. I want you to feel that way. I want you to be confident and say, I could do something like that. Because one day, hum might be coming to your region. We're talking to Chris. We're talking to Anthony. We're going to see what we can do. Hum may be coming to your region before you know it. Because if we can get it solidified here in Phoenix and get it going well in Arizona, I mean, the sky's the limit. Uber and Lyft, they, their days are numbered. Because when you got an app like this on the market where people can do quick transactions right on the spot, everything's covered by commercial insurance. Everything's all good. Nobody's got anything to say about it. I mean, you can't lose. Actually, you can't lose. Crazy over there. They got a concert going right now. playing like the Red Spangled Banner.
It's gonna be nice out here. And here we are all back here chilling. We got hum drivers over here. Look at that. Hum trucks. Of course, we got my car Marcel's out, Chris is out, man. Got the hum tent. Come on out, y'all. It's time to do it. Look at the mountain range in the background. We're trying to do it like Arizona do it. And then, look, you can see back over here the big Suzuki tent. Y'all know I roll Suzuki anyway all day, all day, baby. We got two hum SUVs, three hum sedans. Let's go. We, let's get this money out here. All the bikers right now. There they go. Man, I'm going to bring my bike up tomorrow. I got to bring my bike up. This is too fun. Too fun. 